<laughs> hey, oh, everybody. Uh, we're live. Hi. Uh, I think Hello. we messed up the other stream, but who cares? Who cares? <laughs> we're live on they, Planet Ant. Yeah, we're live on Planet Ant. We're live on Twitch. We're live. Uh, we you might be live. wondering why I'm wearing a cowboy hat. You'll see. Uh, <laughs> I did not. I from wait. here, it looks like a almost like a Kentucky Derby hat. Oh know? yeah, I who, thought it was like a sun hat. It's like yeah. permanently uh, <laughs> uh, askew. <laughs> Let me like duck down there. Uh, we have been with us uh, like a sun hat. special it's... guest Mike McGettigan again. Hello everybody, yeah. Planet Ants, <laughs> uh, Hope Team, uh, and uh, Master of Everything Fun. <laughs> That's a intro. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. Uh, Mike, a uh, new thing we've added uh, since you've last been on is uh, yeah. we have counters on the uh, the side here. We have counters for kills, deaths, oh, nice. whoopies, which is sex, and <laughs> falling backwards. Uh, like so a I, 70s game show, because it, <laughs> it was called a whoopie in the 70s game show. Yeah. No, it's like yeah. no whoopies. Yeah, no, no whoopies, no whoopies. Yeah, oh. it's actually, no whoopies, it's no actually whoopies, how many stop. references uh, we make a Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, that's oh. that's yeah. it. That should also count, by the way. Sex and references to Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, so let's get that's started right. with the new character. Wait, Jason, you didn't introduce uh, another member of the home team and the silent uh, master in the background. Who's that? Oh, T Tony Augusti. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I I forgot. <sighs> uh, what's the point of well you said another home team, team member and then you said silent right. mastermind and i was like well tony's talking no, 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 right no, now I, so he's not that, silent, silent mastermind yeah yeah you're only one of those things yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so i'm a mastermind i was no, like the dog i was like the boss jim jim who's not on camera <laughs> jim uh i ask you this every episode have you gotten a webcam yet no okay. he has like four webcams i'm sure I have plenty of cameras, but they're not web cameras. I gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is the asparagus still on the table for scenarios, Jim? Oh, an asparagus that has body swap with Hitler. Let's, yeah, let's do that. That's yeah. it. <laughs> you go, are guys. an asparagus <laughs> that has body swapped. Hitler. So does that mean Hitler has the head of a asparagus? No, you're body know. swapped. So an asparagus like... is yeah. brain. So Hitler's going to want to go into the sun a bunch and he's going to want to make people's pee smell bad. Uh, <laughs> you mean great. Yeah. But wouldn't that be mind swapping? Uh, body I mean, maybe. Like well, kind of. Flopping. Yeah. Yeah. Theoretically, if Hitler's body was an asparagus, like it wouldn't be capable of thought or anything. Or does he think like an asparagus? Like Jim said, yeah. like I mean, yeah. Well, who knows? I mean, you guys. Are, I mean, who's to say what an asparagus thinks in general? Because mm. I mean, we don't even have the concept of that. So. Yeah. Mm. I mean, but I do know that asparagus don't. They just don't. They don't have legs. They don't have mouths. They can't talk. I mean, this is going to be pretty challenging. I think. <laughs> Well, Mike, if they don't have legs, why are they always stalking? Oh, wow! Yeah. That was a that was a level nine, right there. Yeah. level nine pun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are sitting in art class. You move towards the window seat. The All right, I guess that's possible. The sun <laughs> is shining bright. <laughs> the teacher. Tells you to stop looking outside. All right, that's good. All right. Let's see if I can. Are these like night this. classes? These are night classes at the community college. I would imagine that that asparagus yeah. can't afford really good classes, so yeah, Berlin Community College. <laughs> Berlin Community College. Is this lagging for anybody? Or yeah, oh, it was totally lagging for me. I don't know what was going on. I think Discord's... As yeah. you do so, a man walks into the room and sits down next to you. He looks at you and smiles. He then says, you're pretty. 
Yeah, you say, I'm Adolf Hitler, he says. Uh, What's your name? Adolf, he says. <laughs> All right. Oh, is the voice Australian though? Yes, it is. That's why uh, I'm wearing the cowboy hat. Or the... uh, yeah. Is that why you're wearing the cowboy hat, Jason? Wait, yes. why is it a cowboy hat? Because <laughs> we're down <laughs> under, mate. No, they don't wear cowboy, cowboy hats. Though, yeah, they do. They're all crocodile dundees down there, don't you know? That's... But they, they do wear that hat that's like cocked to the side, so that's what Yeah, yeah. Has. On the one side, the thing is for like ranching uh, herds or something. I don't know. Ranching herds, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, Birds of animals. animals. So already body swapping means having sex with Hitler, I guess. The, yeah, yeah, a whoopee is coming. And this is not the first time we've seduced Adolf Hitler. So he's Adolf Hitler. He is Adolf Hitler. Okay. Well, and you're now. Good. I see Mike typing away. <laughs> yep, I got something. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, way to veer us back on track here. He laughs. Well, I guess you'll have to wait a little longer than you thought. Then he oh. turns his back on you and goes back to painting. You stare oh, at him for a moment, wondering what to do. He seems like he wants something from you, but you don't know if you want it or not. Son? <laughs> what? We need plant mm. food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The That's best the artist is the angriest. Across from you suddenly gets up and begins pacing around the classroom. He yells at the top of his lungs about how this is all his fault, that he should have been more careful, that he was just trying to help you out. He starts <laughs> swearing and yelling at people. Finally, he stops and stares at you. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Already we're starting time travel? <laughs> no, he needs to travel messy. back in time. <laughs> you look at the man and see that he is wearing a black suit and tie. His hair is combed neatly back and he wears glasses. He doesn't seem angry or upset, just confused. He slowly approaches you. Hello there, he says. My name is, well, it's not important. Oh, it's just yes that it I can is. travel through time. <laughs> is this Doctor Who? <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, you're telling me that you can travel through time? That means you can change history. What kind of crazy person would believe such a thing? What? It's true. How did you come to this conclusion? Because I read books about time travel. And since I'm curious, I decided to test it myself. Huh. Well, That's that didn't fair. have anything to do with anything that I typed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds like a crazy person. No. Yeah. That's really interesting. So what happened when you tried to go back in time? Nothing. Then why were you mad? I wasn't mad, but I wanted what? to make sure you weren't lying. So I went back in time again. This time I changed the past so that you never existed. What? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Someone grandfather paradoxed us. Yeah. Man. <laughs> John Yar wants us to steal his time machine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's... Why not? I mean, it seems yeah. to be ignoring everything that we're typing right now, so... We like, can't steal it if we never existed. Exactly. But I didn't you, exist. Yeah. Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> what? Something tells me... It's like got its own story going without yeah. it. <laughs> Something tells me his uh, time machine is just like a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> I don't know where I am right now. Time machine. Oh, we had the same idea. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, this That's is Back to back. Uh, no, no, I intentionally. No, 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 no
plays before the text will show up. Uh, okay. That's intentional. That's intentional. <laughs> yeah, it's good so we don't talk over it all the time. Yeah, and yeah, I, wanna, I like to be surprised. Like, yeah. hearing no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, asparagus hates you walk carrots. into the beer hall and find Hitler waiting for you. Hey, Adolf. You say, where do you get that hat? Oh, that one. Why did you kill those Jews? They deserved <laughs> it. And you, oh my I killed God. them because they were evil. Hmm. Well, I suppose you had a point. Oh, the asparagus. We just oh, happened yeah. to be... The one asparagus that was also anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think about eating Jews in any way. And this innocent Adolf named asparagus. Yeah. When in Rome, I guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is I love terrible. how it's like, I suppose you had a point. Yeah. Yeah, that's why or why is the computer making us anti-Semitic? Oh my god, that's great. Okay, I'll give you that much. Good. Now let's call ourselves the Third Rake and try to take over the world together. <laughs> Finally. Well, it answered very fast to that, by the way. Yeah, it really did. It's like it's waiting. You got some gem I was gonna... Yes, yeah. I, you, had, you had the same idea. <laughs> you decide to destroy all the carrots in Germany. We need to make Germany great again. Greater Germany? Hitler asks. No, greater than Germany. Greater than any nation. We need to unite the whole world under our banner. We need to become the new Nazis. Oof. We need to conquer oh the world. Oh my god. I guess carrots are the Jews of the vegetable world. Oh no. Oh, god. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> <Help>. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we're body swapped with Hitler. Hitler to his work. You spend the rest of the day planning and preparing for the attack. You also plan to use the same tactic against England. You figure if you can get rid of the English, you can get rid of the Germans too. The English day carrots. Four, the attack yeah. <laughs> begins at first. The attack seems to be going well. Guys, they're just carrots. Yeah, <laughs> they're just carrots. Yeah, let's invade <laughs> Russian carrots. That's exactly what I was starting to <laughs> Okay. Go, yeah, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. You send a few men to raid a farmhouse. They manage to capture several carrots, but unfortunately the owner escapes. Oh. Later, you learn that the farmer was a Jew. The next day, you send oh, another group to raid okay. a nearby farm. Again, they succeed in capturing many carrots. The following day, you send yet another group to raid a farm. <laughs> okay, this the computer keeps trying to turn us toward back towards anti-Semitism. Yeah, I know. Mm. Speaking <laughs> of someone with one percent Jewish uh, ancestry, I'm offended. Yeah. As you should be. This is uh yeah, well, I, I like that you said situation. It's only because I've he Jewish orders ancestry. you executed. You escape and hide in a cave. When the allies finally arrive, you explain everything to them. They agree to help you. You lead your forces to attack the Russians. You defeat them easily. After oh, no. the war, you return to Germany and announce that the war is won. Uh, Everyone applauds you. Uh We did it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's um 12 million? Yeah. <laughs> 12 million carrots. <laughs> Gone in an instant. God. <laughs> Rupees, uh, zero. After the war, you move to Switzerland where you live happily ever after. All right. I think that's, right. that's a good end. <laughs> that's good. Let's, uh, yeah. let's end it there before the only, we... The only way that it would be better if you said he moved to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, wow. Argentina, yeah. Tony. Argentina. I think, yeah, I think we can say that uh, this AI is anti-Semitic. We kept trying to turn it, you know, back toward uh, yeah the powers of good. But it was like, no, no, we're carrots or Jews. We're gonna exactly. kill them all. Gonna hey, and by the way, that farmer was a Jew. What the? Yeah. Fuck? Why did yeah. they say that? Yeah. 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 That was a little disturbing. <laughs> it was. This data is based off uh, internet searches, or yeah, it, the internet. Yeah. 
database. That, that, that explains everything. I mean, that we, didn't, sense. we didn't kill the farmer. No, but yeah. they, why did they change the Jew? No, yeah, we have tried at every turn to be uh, non-anti-Semitic, but the AI well. keeps trying to, you know... What do you mean well, Jerry? Um, what do you mean well? Are we counting <laughs> carrots at, for our kill Jim, count? Do you, have, do you have a new tattoo so. on your face or something that we you don't want us to see? <laughs> Jim doesn't own a webcam. <laughs> mm -hmm. <All> right. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. I believe. I, just, I got a lot of flags and stuff in my room. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to say 12 you million. You, were you saw that rub you were telling me about, Jim? <laughs> yeah, you messaged about getting stains out of a pure white robe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used I think uh, Clorox. I think soot stains, like some, from something burning out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blood stains. Uh, Squeeze got a suggestion of uh, a rat developing telekinesis uh, under an abusive owner. Mm. All right. I like it. You are okay. a, oh, it's a like suggestion. Pinky brain. Okay, let's. You are a rat named Pinky. Or the brain. Eh, let's be Pinky. Pinky's funner. You are a rat named Pinky, and you have tele... Well, is that going to make the AI utilize, like, any of the uh, lore of Pinky and the brain? Like, it's all possible. I, one can only hope. Maybe. You think they're, like, the scripts are into, like, the Google database? Probably. Like, or, I mean, at least for. fan fiction and stuff, you know? Confession, I only... Uh... I only watched maybe like one or two episodes of Pinky and the Brain. That well, was it was it was the Animaniacs, and it was like a short during every episode. Oh, that's, I thought they had got their own show. No, they might have. Maybe. Uh, you are sitting in a cage of a lab where a scientist has been putting ecstasy. Up your ass. Wow. Okay. For uh, science. Meta yeah, for yeah, medical testing. Science. I mean, do you even really have to say it's for science? I mean, if a scientist did that to me, I would assume it's for science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, for efficacy. F <laughs> what? He Ethics. gets uh, too high <laughs> and forgets to lock the cages. To... You... Well, let's just see what happens. <laughs> Bobber, yeah. <laughs> I like if, it. If it comes start up. start eating him, but he is still alive. You decide that this must what? be what it feels like when you fuck a girl for the first time. What? You don't know if you should laugh or cry. Maybe both. You look at yourself in the mirror and see that you are now a rat with no arms and legs. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? So we started a <laughs> right rat uprising? Right out of the gate. The rats start eating him, but he is still alive. You decide was human flesh alive. makes us feel like we're fucking a girl for the first time. These rats are, are going to be rats. eating a lot of people then. Yeah, yes, the that did. Apparently, fantasized about uh, fucking people. So, yeah. <laughs> really so we're like weird. a we're like a stump of a rat eating a scientist. I and guess. Yeah. Really liking it. Wow. This is going to be a tough going with no arms or legs. Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah. Also, doesn't a rat just have, like, legs? Yeah. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> this rat had arms because it's a science rat. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it, had, oh, okay. it had, uh, like, yeah, kangaroo arms stapled onto it. But not anymore. They fell off. Oh. Oh boy, I, I don't know where we go from here. Yeah. I got oh, something. I, I got something. All right. Or Mr. Mr. Flannel is he being called in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Flannel. <laughs> cool. You put on some new clothes and go back to the laboratory. You find a bunch of scientific equipment lying around the workshop. Okay. You take all these things and make a robot arm and leg out of them. Mm. It looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> looks pretty good. All right. That looks good. Looks pretty right. good. <laughs> Thank you, Squee. Yes, the four legs could be considered arms. I, I'll, you know, I want to anthropize all animals to be more scientifically accurate. You lift the robot arm up and then drop it down again. 
You try to do this several times until you can do it without thinking about it. The next day you are feeling very happy. Oh. Cool. All right. This is starting, <laughs> we're starting to get on a roll here. Okay. This rat is becoming a badass. Yeah, we're becoming. After going, uh, at the very beginning, after going so hard so fast. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when a scientist shoves ecstasy up your ass for your whole life, you'd probably be yeah. violently kill him <laughs> the first chance yeah. you get. Maybe kind of depressed, too. Yeah. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. You think about hiring Gwyneth because she seems nice Gwyneth and also Bennett. because she is an actress. Ah. She would probably help you get laid. Oh. But then you remember that you just hired her to play a prostitute in the movie she was going to direct. Or a movie director? Maybe she will not be able to help you anymore after all. <laughs> That's how Australians call her, Gwyneth. Gwyneth. Gwyneth <laughs> Paltrow. How, how do you spell that? Let's get a job at Goop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's a big movie producer now. Yeah, so. yeah. You spend hours looking through Are your filmography. You realize that you made only one film which was a flop. <laughs> In fact, it wasn't even a bad film. It was just a poor choice of title. You wonder why nobody ever wants to work with you. You have never had any success in movies before. You always thought that maybe you were too old for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow, weirdly uh, complicated. <laughs> in our ecstasy-driven oh, yeah. existence, we became we developed movies and directed and produced. Yeah, yeah. Right. You're oh. and frustrated by all the failures. Uh, oh. Then you suddenly hear a loud noise outside. You run outside and see a truck crashing into a wall. A man is trying to crawl out from under the truck. Hmm. Oh my god, you say. I'm so sorry, Mr. Driver. What? It's okay, he says. I'm fine. That's what happens when you crush a beer can? All right. We have, like, superpowers of You are Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. You are a rich Hollywood producer who makes money off of other people's hard work. You are a failure. You are a loser. You are a fraud. You wow. are everything you hate about yourself. <laughs> this is straight out of Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Do you guys know he caught the coronavirus? Yeah, I did no. see the, hear that. In prison. Yeah. Now, when you said Mr. Driver, is that Adam Driver that we uh, crashed into? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, no. If, if anybody can you handle the it. coronavirus and inject it into your bloodstream. Oh, wow. You feel sick and die shortly afterwards. Uh, uh, wow, rat. Well, well that's, that was bad, that's I guess. That. There's a death. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> okay, one death. death. Uh, one, the scientist was killed, apparently, right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. He died, so... <laughs> Yeah, that ended the way it should have. <laughs> yeah, it really should. It really. Like, at least, what if he started like you know killing carrots? Uh... Uh. Oh yeah, twelve million. Uh, twelve. <laughs> Guys, they're just carrots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guys, they're just carrots. guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do a new character. Yeah, twelve mil plus what? Tw there you go. That's actually better. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> there you go. No commas. Yeah. Uh, so new character, huh? Um, is it exclamation point next for character? Yes. Yeah. 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 See, it gives you the prompt right there. Oh yeah. You are Galorpalan. Galorpalan, a sausage farmer. Uh, so let's see. What should we do now? Um. Whatever your heart desires. And if you're stumped, we can always pull out the Alan Spock character generator. <laughs> That's right. I got yeah. something. Let's see. Okay. I love okay. the CG. <laughs> Sexy lumber lumberjack, John uh, Yar suggests. Oh, too late. Too late. Mm -hmm. Once again, getting and ignoring a John Yar suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being in screenwriting class or sketch writing class again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that next job though whatever <laughs> alright now uh, where are we anime obsessed kid who lives in his parent basement okay <laughs> you're <laughs> what people refer to as an incel you own several fedoras you smell bad Perfect. Classic trope. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 
you are playing uh, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. I give the people has, what they want. <laughs> it has been 18 hours. Your <laughs> mom yells at you to go to bed. You reply. <laughs> well, it's thinking. Yeah, it's like. Huh. I don't know. What do I say? What do I the say? incel comment broke it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oops. Yeah. I. It is not thinking. It is doing nothing. Yeah. There. Oh, go. I was going to ask you. Do you do nothing? Oops. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh, you did do <clears throat> instead of Squee. Nasty. Squee is definitely on the ball. More yeah. so than we even. You are. have been playing for a few hours when your mum comes into the room and says, "I told you to go to bed, but I can't stop playing. No buts." Go to sleep now or tomorrow morning you will wake up with a fever. Fine, fine. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I like it. You <laughs> yeah, lie sleep. down on the couch and pretend to sleep. Your mum is very angry with you. Yeah. She grabs you by the collar of your shirt and throws oh. you out of the house. Oh. No! <laughs> Time to play Fortnite at the library. Yeah. <laughs> or internet cafe. Yeah. Or just barge into somebody's house and start playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Seems like the, the logical. Next day you get ready and head to the library where you find that there are many books about Sailor Moon. You read all of them and then you begin to think about how you want to become Sailor Mercury. Oh. You decide to go back home and tell your mum what you did. She is not happy about this idea. No. Nope. What? You want to become Sailor Mercury? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fucking do. That's um, one disappointed mother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> she replies, well, I don't think so. She tells you to come over every night after school until you turn 18. Then she will let you choose which one you want to become. Oh. She ah. Did. That's a compromise. What is that? You hear that noise? Yeah. Sound like a cricket. I think that's our audience. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, my, we've got a decent audience. <laughs> no, we do. We do. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I've got an idea. You agree and leave her house. When you arrive back home, you see your mum sitting on the porch. So, you're going to be Sailor Mercury? She asks. Yes, I am. You reply. Good, now come inside and we'll talk more about it later. She goes inside and sits on the sofa while you sit on the floor. I honestly heard come and I thought this was going to get sexual again. I you like had a, your mom that I had a panic to choose attack. between Sailor Venus and Sailor Mars. Which one do you want to be? Whoa, your mom's like embracing it finally, but she doesn't like <laughs> the sailor you chose. Are these all actual characters? By yes, the way? Yeah, yep, they are. Yeah, they yeah. are. I just know Sailor Moon. It's based off the planets, and for some reason, Sailor Moon. The one <laughs> yeah. not planet, yeah. It's pretty weird. It's a pretty weird show. Unlike most anime, which is yeah. very, very buttoned up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sailor Uranus. <laughs> yeah now our mom's like uh, I guess if he's my son you attend a cosplay convention with your mom you meet other Sailor Moon fans they seem nice and friendly you even meet some girls wearing Sailor Moon costumes oh, you also meet girl. a girl dressed as Sailor Jupiter she seems pretty cool the only problem is that you have no money and you need to buy food and drinks to survive steal money from mom is a problem yeah Steal four hundred dollars from your mom. That's great. Yep. <laughs> you sneak away from the con and hide in your mom's closet. You take four hundred dollars and run out of the house. You hide in the woods and wait for your mom to return home. 
Yes. When she does, you tell her everything that happened. She is Whoa. shocked and upset. Why what? would you do such a thing? How could you betray me like that? The guilt. Oh, I tell her. The guilt was too much. Uh, <laughs> I get it. This fat guy is just a big pussy in disguise. As much shit as he talks online, he's yeah. he's still a mama's typical boy at heart. Incel. <laughs> yeah, typical incel. Hmm. What were we gonna do anyway? Buy four hundred dollars worth of Arby's and hope a girl would no, even pay attention give it to, to us? Just give it to those girls. They'll like us then. Yeah. That never works out. <laughs> do four, <laughs> yeah, do some Fortnite dances. <laughs> Cringiest shit. You create an app called Love Locket. It allows oh. users to send messages to each other. People start using it and they really enjoy it. Soon you realize that you are making too much money and you sell it off. Whoa! You live happily ever after. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. All right, incel, man. Unexpected. Wow. Unexpected. I, I feel I like I that. don't accept that happily ever after, though. I feel like we could fuck this yeah, up I royally. Mean, Look at what happened to Notch after he, uh, after Minecraft. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Look how insane he became. Yeah. <laughs> he went insane? He lost it? No. Well, no, but... he just posts, like, the most ridiculously stupid stuff online. Like, he's, he's <laughs> a complete monster You enlist now. in the Navy and yeah. serve your country. You make friends with the guys and eventually you become their best friend. <laughs> One day you receive a message from your best friend saying that he wants to speak to you. He says that he needs to talk to you privately. Uh, okay. I could add a saying, counter for happily ever like, afters. Yeah. This is like act two now of yeah. the story, right? Yeah, I thought you said you didn't accept the happily ever after. That's why I typed in join the name. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But mm -mm. Well, I was just well, saying a wholesome let's... counter. Let's add a, ha a happy counter. I don't know. Nah, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out for the next time. I mean, happily ever after for a couple of years. Yeah. You know. So now we're in the Navy, but we have a okay. lot of money. Yeah, we're rich. We're in the Navy, and we have a, our best friend. Uh, we got to talk uh, to some girls. This, that's our, our biggest struggle. We have everything else in the world. The love of our mother, yeah. the money, right. the job. It's the, yeah, it is. You're right that that is the old want of this uh, character, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all for <laughs> not if we can't get some... But yeah, let's see what happens. Have to talk to us. Friend here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You enter the supply room and speak to your friend. Yeah. Hey man, what's wrong? He responds, <laughs> it's yeah. about Sailor Mercury. You nod oh. and ask him if he knows so anything obsessed. about it. He says that he doesn't know anything about it either. <laughs> let's go look for her. Yeah, he's like, is that a person on the ship? Like a, si oh, we're in the Navy now. So yeah, yeah. Sailor Mercury, is that a, a woman on the ship? Little does he know that we're just a total fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I feel like we're going to lose a friend right now. <laughs> hey, we found her. Mercury costume and follow your friend. Oh. You walk through the forest and finally you reach a lake. There you see a small boat tied up near the shore. A young boy is standing on the bow of the boat. He looks scared and confused. He runs up to you and says, help me. You grab him and pull him onto the boat. Okay, I guess we're doing our job as the uh, Navy yeah. officer. Hello. Yeah. What was Sailor Moon? Um, what do they have powers or something? I forget. I can't remember what the powers are. Yeah. I know that they they get into fights and stuff, right? You can fly, yeah, right? constantly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> constantly. Also, it's like you're irritated about it. <laughs> uh, on a different note, I feel like we're never going to implement the whoopee counter on this story. Oh, yeah. challenge accepted. Whoopi safe here. Whoopi safe zone. Uh, yeah, maybe we can help this kid. Let's. <laughs> yeah, let's get him hooked on Sailor Moon. <laughs> you row across the lake. Suddenly, you hear a loud noise and fall into the lake. You swim towards the shore and gasp for air. You feel cold water hitting your face and chest. Uh -oh. You try to stand up but sink back into the water. You struggle to breathe and scream for help. A woman appears from the trees <gasps> holding a fishing pole. We're gonna get a kiss! What? Uh, Did the kid uh, die? Did the yeah. kid and the best friend die? Uh, ask for no, mouth in the boat, right? to mouth. I don't know. We don't know what happened. 
That's a good ask. That's a good ask. I thought you were going to say something else. Uh, I think this guy would beg. Mouth. The woman pulls you out of the water. You gasp for air and cough up blood. You hold your oh. hand over your mouth and gasp for air. You can barely oh, move wow. your arm. The woman takes you to the hospital. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I ain't giving you mouth to mouth. We're going to yeah. the hospital. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you ask the nurse for mouth to mouth. She pulls you out of the water. You gasp for air and cough up blood. Uh -oh. You hold no, your hand over your mouth and gasp for air. We're stuck, you can though. barely move your arm. The woman takes you to the hospital. Again. The nurse takes you to another hospital, I'd like to believe. Yeah. She's <laughs> like, you fall in love with the woman. You spend all your time together and never get sick or tired. Eventually you marry her. You both live happily ever after. Oh, yeah. Wow! Right. But she never touches now. you and she never kisses you. She's just yeah. using you for the money. Yep. So yeah. You <laughs> cheat on your wife with another woman. She <laughs> finds out and beats you bloody. You die oh. of your injuries. Wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. I swear, Jim is the best at getting killed in this game. Yeah. Like, just for no reason. <laughs> yes. I did like, not think that would lead to and that. And also, like, uh, things that wouldn't seemingly cause death, Jim just yeah, like ho like homing missiles or... in on the right thing to say to die in this yeah. adventure. You, you go to the store and you die. <laughs> oh my god. Man. Uh, okay, I think that's a good ending, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, right, let's, yeah. Do let's do a new one. Let's what do you got, one. John Yar? Uh, got anything? Yeah. We no, are, what was the one? Sexy, sexy Lumberjack. Lumberjack. You are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the name? Paul? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Isn't that one for the whoopee counter? No, we didn't well, We didn't get no, laid. We never, we never explicitly had, had sex. We cheated yeah, so by, we like, just by going and spending time with another woman, I'd like to think. Oh, uh, right. micro cheating. You are. Yeah. Micro cheating. Paul, the sexiest affair. lumberjack, John. Paul, the sexiest lumberjack. Great. That's a Danish name. Uh, <laughs> the sexiest lumberjack. You. Sexiest lumberjack. Uh, uh, you are. Uh, what? Let's you are a. You are a. Uh, I don't know. You are. Uh, the missing an hands, arm. Yeah. Okay. You are you missing wooden, an arm. You have a wooden arm. Like the yeah, rat. You, you have a rat. wooden arm. Okay, I like that. All right, now where are we? Hello, my name is Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> the sexiest lumberjack. Yeah. My name is Chexia Schlumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Sexy. Let's see. Uh, you Jim is the accent master. are at... Let's see. Where would Paul be going? Where would we just be sworn by women? I think he'd probably be going to check on his um, drying fish down by the seashore. Okay. Yeah. You are... Yep. That's what lumberjacks do. At the beach. Checking, checking on the loot fish. The loot fish. <laughs> checking on the loot fish. In the sturgeon. What's that really smelling? By the fish? shore. Uh, a hundred women are there waiting for you. Oh, you want the whoopee counter to go up. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get at least one. Hey, if yeah. we're the sexiest lumberjack, we gotta we gotta get some attention. Dried fish yoga is hot. You see a man in his 20s with long hair and wearing a white shirt and khaki shorts. He is standing near the edge what? of the sand dunes, looking out over the water. The sun has set, but he is oh. not alone. There are several women, all dressed similarly to him, but each one looks more beautiful than the last. Oh, oh. it's a cult. It's a cult. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, yeah, let's just go up to this man who thinks he's God and then steal all his women. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or that too. So we're negging the man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, what's yes. your problem? You say, what do you want? I'm not interested. You walk away from the man who turns around to look at you. He smiles, then walks back towards the sea. You turn around and walk away from the man who turns around to look at you. Uh oh. A lot of turning around. Yeah. <laughs> it's a standoff. Swedish style. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like you. You shout. You're ugly. You walk away from the man, who turned around to look at you. He smiles, then walks back towards the sea. You turn around and walk away from the man, who turns around to look at you. You walk away from the man, who turns around to look at you. Okay, okay, okay. I guess uh, asking to join the man's cult has the same effect. Yes. <laughs> it's an act of peace. There's a lot of turning around and looking, so I figured out. with the man who laughs as you do so. You laugh too when he tells right. you that he will take you home. You smile and begin kissing him passionately. Oh, he grabs your hand and begins leading you to the sea. You follow him, laughing, until you reach the shoreline. He leads you into the trees where you kiss him again. Alright. All right. <laughs> Same sex, Whoopi. That still counts. Yeah. Still counts. We're, still we're, counts. we're getting close. We're getting close to Whoopi. Not yet, yeah. Whoopi detect. Whoopi. I mean, what, what are those hundred women doing? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh. <laughs> yes, there you go. Let's just yeah, force Whoopi. Lumberjack style. Hell yeah. You lie down on the ground, and a man lies next to you. He kisses you deeply before pulling you closer to him. You wrap your arms around him and you feel his body heat against yours. That's beautiful. His hands move up your legs and he starts caressing your breasts. You moan okay. softly oh. and he moves his face close to yours. I guess we never specified that Power was a uh, man. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Power. What power, are we yeah. You could have man breasts. I got man breasts. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Well, we all have breasts. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's a whoopee. I'm going to count. If that's not a whoopee, I don't know what it is. Well, yeah. well I think we I mean, it's, got a, it's really still not an explicit whoopee. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> have you, have you got got it. We he pulls the condom off, the and the man pulls it off, smiling. He takes it off and puts it back on, grinning. He <laughs> smiles and kisses you passionately before taking you inside. You smile and kiss him back. The two of you spend the rest of the night together, enjoying each other's company. Okay, maybe oh, he's taking it slow. Yeah. I feel like now, we when got. He says take, when he I says guess take that's a whoopee. Right? I feel like we edged to the the very edge of whoopiness, and then yes, yeah. Then we just had a good time, I guess. The next morning, you wake up to find huh. yourself naked. You sit up slowly and look around. You see a large tree which is covered with leaves. It is surrounded by a thick forest. You notice a small stream running through the center of the clearing. Nearby, you see a log cabin, which is also covered with leaves and branches. Uh huh. I'll say that's implied. Okay. Implied whoopee. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, yeah. Let's Here go back go. down. We're let's get clarification. We have to. Yeah. You stand up and walk over to the man. You grab his hand and you both run over to the cabin. You open the door and you enter. Inside, you find a bed and a man lying on it. He looks up at you, smiling. He sits up and smiles. He holds out his hand, and you shake it. That doesn't answer our question. That is a non-answer. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's just... For we really gotta rack up this whoopee beater on this episode. Yeah, yeah I'm I trying to at least the... have one. You lay down on the bed, and the man lays beside you. He strokes your hair gently and whispers in your ear. I love you, he says. You smile and nod. He leans forward and kisses you. You gasp and push him away. No, 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 stop, you scream. <laughs> I, I feel like we're, we are cock blocking ourselves, which is something yeah. that handsome people only have to suffer with. Yeah. <laughs> well, today we're all Dot, handsome for the first time He and kisses ever. you again. He pulls away and smiles. We can continue this way later if you want. God. Man, this is this... Dating in Norway is difficult. Yeah, I feel like this is really? harder than the incel. And we're yeah. a beautiful man. Yeah. A lot I don't of back know how and more forth. We can be. Yeah. <laughs> just start masturbating. <laughs> Although that doesn't count as a whoopee. That's just really. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's get meta with it. Yeah. <laughs> Greater than you go to the bathroom. You walk to the bathroom and you throw your clothes on. You walk out of the bathroom and you hear the man laughing. He opens the door and sees you. He smiles and hugs you. You hug him back and embrace him tightly. He kisses you passionately and you respond with a passionate kiss. 
Guys, we've been thinking about this all wrong. I figured yeah. it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or Jim, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't believe it would work. We might die now. No, you no, put your arms work. around him and you begin kissing him passionately. He grabs your head and kisses you deeply. He pulls you in and you begin grinding into him. Okay. He grabs your ass Closer. and presses his cock deep inside you. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's it. He pushes um, himself deeper inside you and you let out a loud okay. orgasm. Okay. <laughs> we just Finally. had to say fuck him. Fuck him is the magic word. <laughs> yeah. no. You let out a long orgasm. You stop <laughs> running and just stare at him. He smiles and pulls out of you. You sigh happily and fall asleep. All right, great. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I imagine the guy like licking his sticker and making him walk. You forgot to call Whoopi Goldberg to pick you up. You call her up and she answers. She asks what time it is. You tell her and she tells you that it's 5.30 a.m. You tell her that you had a really good dream and that you'll be calling her right back. Now does that count as a Whoopi? <laughs> 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 I, I feel like we have to meet Whoopi Goldberg to actually have a count as a Whoopi. It only counts if we have Whoopi with Whoopi. Yeah. Telling Whoopi okay. about our Whoopi, now the Whoopi. Okay. <laughs> Whoopi seemed pretty chill that we called her at 5.30. D understandably oh, okay. peeved, but... She gets up early for, to shoot the view, so... Oh, yeah. She's priority out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I forgot we joined the cult. You walk along the beach, throwing pebbles into the fjord. Suddenly, <laughs> you hear a voice. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? You turn around and see Whoopi Goldberg standing there. Ah, she smiles right. and waves you goodbye. You wave back and walk off into the woods. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was going to give you a ride. <laughs> hey, 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 what are you, you doing? You decide to build a second cabin for Whoopi Goldberg to live in. You start building it and That's you nice. soon have a nice little house. Hey. You think about how much fun it would be to have a real human woman living here. <laughs> a few months pass. Oh no. <laughs> a real human woman. <laughs> uh, yeah. One of these other, one of these hundred women that are. <laughs> yeah. A few months pass. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. Yeah. Uh, we'll re we can revert that. We can revert that. A few months pass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll revert that. <laughs> You got a mic? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Giant you start building a wooden woman out of spare wood. Soon, you have a beautiful woman, complete with a wooden vagina. <laughs> you take her outside and give her a kiss. She grins and walks off into the woods. What? Man, oh. <laughs> we created a sexual Pinocchio situation. Yeah. <laughs> also, are we trying to, like... Pray the gay away by making a wooden woman? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Is that we're, we're fluid? We're, we're a fluid coffee. lumberjack. Yeah. Okay, we, can be, just we can be fluid. Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking of all the splinters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, Paul You Bunyan. walk into the humane society and see a blue ox chained to a post. Oh. You approach the animal and try to talk to it. It doesn't seem to understand you, but it lets you pet its head. You stroke its ears and rub its belly. It seems happy to you. You walk over to the chain and untie it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's great. Adapt him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, let's milk it. And then if it's okay with us milking it, we'll adapt it. Yeah, yeah that's the test. <laughs> you pull the chain free and walk over to the ox. You kneel down and you begin milking the ox. The ox lets out a low growl as you drink some of its sweet milk. Uh, you lick your lips and about. suckle from the <laughs> cow's teat. You feel very full and you quickly eat the entire bowl of milk. That's a whoopee, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> aren't, aren't oxes in, implicitly male? A growling uh, ox. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say that's a whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> so very sit down and watch the stars with the man while Whoopi Goldberg watches you from across the room. You enjoy the movie until suddenly you feel sick. 
You look over at the man, and he has a strange look on his face. What's wrong, you ask? The blue oh, milk no. went bad! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was milk. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You stand up and run to the man. He looks at you, confused. What's wrong, you ask. The man is lactose intolerant, he replies. What? How do you know? I don't even like milk. Uh, hmm? <laughs> wow, okay. Just because you don't like milk doesn't mean he's not lactose intolerant. Yeah, I know. Well, in a relationship. <laughs> Greater than you explain to the man that he should drink more milk. You explain to the man that he should drink more milk. He nods and begins drinking more milk. Yes. Soon, he drinks all of the milk in the bowl. Drink. He pours the rest of the milk into a bucket and throws it into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think you could outdo your lactose intolerant by just like... Drinking a lot of milk? Drinking, like, you yes. walk into the oh, woods and find a bunch of things that you think might help the man. You toss them into the bucket. They float away and sink to the bottom of the ocean. You then return to the man and ask him if he needs any help. Oh my god. He shakes his head and says, no, thanks. Why not find the woman with the widow vagina, Jim? She's gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> we lost her. Someone kidnapped her. You walk into the woods and find a bunch of things that you think might help the man. You toss them into the bucket. Oh, they float away and sink guy. to the bottom of the ocean. You then return to the man. No, no. You can't just fuck a, fuck a tree in this, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. <laughs> you know, traditionally you use the, your teeth. <laughs> yeah, you have to bite it off. You walk what into the woods and find a bunch of things that you think might help the man. You toss them into the oh, bucket. No. They float away and oh, sink to the stuck. bottom we're of the stuck. ocean. Right. No, go. really, with sheep, they just like bite one vein or whatever, and that's it. Eesh. I thought they did it with like rubber bands. <laughs> no, 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 that's the most painful way to do it. Exactly. <laughs> you swim towards the ocean and dive into the water. You swim through the water and reach the ocean floor. You grab hold of something soft and pull yourself up. You gasp and gasp and gasp and you finally get to the surface. You breathe and breathe and breath. You gasp and gasp and gasp and you finally get to the surface. Why would we go back into the ocean? We clearly have a trouble swimming. Why did we join the... Oh wait. Are we in the Navy? I'm mixing up all the stories now. We have a lot of yeah. water adventures. Yeah, no, we're, we're retired from the Navy at this point, I think. No, that was Sailor uh, Moon. That this was is, everyone. We're yeah. the Swedish oh, guy. We're the Swedish lumberjack Oh, right that's now. right. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. We're in the fjord now. We're in the fjord. But also have trouble swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is the Little Mermaid. <laughs> you look at the mermaid version of Whoopi Goldberg and ask her what is going on. She explains that she was born in the year 2000. She was raised by humans and they were kind to her. Oh. Then one day, she saw a UFO land nearby. She thought it was just an ordinary plane okay. until it landed on top of her house. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds like Whoopi Goldberg. What was her character in Star Trek? Oh, Dinah, uh, Dinah yeah. Guinan, 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 yeah, that's right. Guinan, what a, yeah. The wise. Oh god, that's hilarious. Guinan, yeah. John Yar has been strangely silent. I've been trying to take his suggestion. Play. Too. Oh, John, you got you. John was also correct. He confirms Guinan. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you it's asked yeah, Whoopi Goldberg it. to lead you to the UFO. She agrees and leads you to the UFO. As you enter, so, you John. notice that the inside of the UFO is made of metal. Oh. There is a door on the other side of the UFO, which opens up into a large room. In this room, you see a huge machine. Oh. Mm. Wow. Who knew a lumberjack would be the first to discover a <laughs> UFO? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well, yeah. You press all the buttons on the machine, and it makes a noise. You hear a voice come from the machine. 
Hello, my name is Dr. Zoidberg, and I am the creator of the universe. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Get some Futurama up in here? Yeah. And he's creator of the universe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, just go to the hollow deck. Dr. Zoidberg laughs and oh, asks, yeah. are you serious? You nod and tell her that you really want to make a wooden UFO. Oh, her. She smiles and tells you that she will create one for you. She takes a piece of wood and starts making a small hole in the middle of it. Oh, small hole. <laughs> <laughs> he might be sexy, but he, I guess he has a, a small Johnson, yeah. Maybe it's long. Maybe he can't put say it's out of though. Very <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I think we just have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Sorenberg replies, "Really?" She presses the button, and the hole gets larger. Ah. You push against it, and it moves back and forth. Oh. Suddenly, the hole closes up, and the machine oh. shuts off. Ah! You sigh oh. and look at the wooden UFO. You take a closer look at it, and it appears to be made of wood. You put it in your pocket, and go back to your tent. Oh, okay. okay. Some privacy. We don't want... We got some... Uh, per... <laughs> now you're, now you're going to go fuck it. Yeah. It's called a pocket pussy. You lie down and start to masturbate. You slowly move your hand and touch the UFO. <laughs> it feels good. You groan and moan and come. You fall asleep. <laughs> that is not whoopee. Is that a whoopee counter? Is that count? It is a yeah, one yeah. UFO that we could put in our pocket. <laughs> it is a... I don't know. I, I feel like that's a great ending. Yeah, I think that's a great ending. God, God not a whoopee. Says... Masturbation yep. is unless unless Zoidberg yeah unless Zoidberg makes the UFO come alive and you then wake you fucking again. Realize that you have washed the wooden UFO out of your body. Oh. You laugh and shake your head. You wipe the UFO out of your hair and put it in your pocket. Huh. You go back to sleep. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what a sweet ending. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, uh, that one was that one was incredibly strange. Yes. Yeah, look yeah. All the weird <laughs> twists and turns that we. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I almost feel like that was a whoopee. I kind of agree with John. Okay, so, I'll, I'll count it. I'll count it. Seen. It was yeah, a yeah, a whoopee. I think it's a whoopee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the Gunning and John never agree on anything, so it has That's to be. That's true. That is true. We've never agreed on anything until then. Until now. And now we have it on tape. All right, so that'll be a next... Uh, <laughs> always an asterisk. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's get, <laughs> yeah, let's get that in to round out the whole episode here. You fall backwards and fall into the ocean. Yeah. The yes. waves crash on the shore and you drift further and further away. You smile and continue drifting away. Huh. Ambiguous death. Yeah. No. But I can't, I, that doesn't count as a fallback because you... You didn't... begin to feel very sleepy, so you decide to call All the right. wooden UFO John Yar. <laughs> You wonder why you what? decided to name it John Yard. <laughs> you remember that there was a time when you had a friend named John. You remember how he would always try to talk to you, but you never listened. Well, John, I hope you got a happy uh, special mention in the episode. I think. Uh, Wait I a think second. Oh, to do our podcast. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, the UFO? you argue with the UFO, and he answers back. He says, I'm not talking to you, because you're stupid. You yell back, you're not talking to me. You're talking to John. Art, <laughs> Art imitates real life, I guess. Yeah. I, think that's, all right, I think that's a good end for the episode. That's okay. good. That's fun. Uh, oh, thanks God. again to Mike for joining us. Yeah, yeah, thanks, absolutely. man. Thanks for having me again. Uh, this is super fun. Yeah. Uh, I'll be your guest anytime. <laughs> yeah. And thanks, thanks to the Planet well. Ant. Support them. Yeah. Uh, PlanetAnt.com. Uh, pay hey, yeah, click on. our... Uh, give, us, give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, you know, hey, in these perilous times, we could use the help. Uh, we're just trying to do stuff that makes people feel better, so... Yeah, yeah. and ourselves thanks better. So I feel better having done this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, see everybody tomorrow. Our, wait, let's see who our guest is going to be. It is uh, going to be... Let me pull up the...
Calendar. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be Graham Tom. Leslie. All right. Yeah. That'd be fun to watch. All right. See you guys tomorrow at 8. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good Bye-bye. night. Yeah.